Another key concept for liberals and for liberal thinkers is the idea of justice. Um, and basically, justice is the idea of a moral standard of fairness and impartiality. And liberal thinkers had a lot to say about justice. Um, it really is what a person is due. So, obviously, if you steal something, you do some kind of retribution, some kind of punishment. If you work hard at something, maybe you're due some sort of extrinsic reward. Anyhow, um, there are really three key aspects to justice within liberalism. Um, the first, of course, is what we call foundation equality. And that is the belief that everyone is born equal. Everyone has natural rights, as Locke would say, or Jefferson, uh, or later on we call these human rights. So, you know, the right to dignity, the right to life, the right to an education, the freedom of speech, the, etc. Um, the right to a trial, a fair trial. Um, th these kind of rights um, are a key aspect of enlightened, li enlightenment liberalism. Uh, and secondly, of course, we have the idea of equal citizenship. Um, this has maybe come to the fore in identity politics, but the idea is that people have equal status and they should be treated uh, exactly the same, whatever their gender, race, colour, ethnicity, religion, class, regional background, accent, etc. Um, in other words, um, liberals uh, believe that we should be difference, bl difference blind to what they would call irrational factors such as race, gender or sexuality. Um, and Therefore, the equal treatment of these different groups is a key aspect of liberalism and indeed can be seen in liberal policies such as those implemented in the 60s, such as the Equal Pay Act for Women, I think 1970, and legislation to decriminalise homosexual behaviour. Um, so, um, uh, another aspect of this, of course, is legal equality, the idea of equality before the law. Whatever your background, whatever your class, whatever your race, you are treated equally in the eyes of the law, before the law, by the police, by the courts. Um, interesting question is to what extent does that actually happen. Um, and of course, equally we have political equality, the idea of democracy, a one vote, one person, and so liberals are often particularly keen on voting systems that they regard as fair, such as the Liberal Democrats are very keen on the single transferable vote, where every vote counts equally um, across the jurisdiction of the United Kingdom, for example, for parliamentary elections. Um, then we move on really to the idea of equality of opportunity. So this is, this is quite a contested area, but um, the idea is that everyone should have the same chance, the same opportunity, of course, of upward mobility or downward mobility within society. Um, so that individuals should have an equal opportunity to develop their differing skills, their differing talents, their differing capacities to work. And the Liberals certainly accept um, the idea that uh, people are all different. Uh, and that's a key co component, of course, of liberal thought. Um, and the idea is that um, people should reach their level in society. Um, and, and to develop this further, Michael Young, when he wrote a book called The Rise of the Meritocracy in the late 50s, he was very critical of this from a socialist point of view. Because of what he argued, if you're going to get some people at the top, okay, above those at the bottom, okay, um, telling them really what to do and feeling quite happy about that because they're there by merit and he thought that that would lead to social problems and it was not a desirable outcome. Um, so the rise of meritocracy uh, he thought was happening as a result of education etc in the 50s. However, um, so meritocracy really means rule by merit by intelligence plus effort, 
is how Michael Young described it. And, and of course, liberal thinkers that are classical liberal thinkers, um, such as Victorians, such as Samuel Smiles, or more recently in the 20th century thinkers, I suppose, such as Hayek and Milton Friedman, would argue very much for a meritocracy. Um, however, is that right? Is it right that someone is lucky enough to be born intelligent? Someone who is lucky enough to be born with a disposition to work hard? Um, someone who isn't unlucky to be born with mental health problems, to be born um, with disabilities, um, um, that, that they reach different positions in society as a consequence. Well, well, some thinkers, such as Dawkins, are quite critical of this, and, and would, they'd argue all aspects of luck, such as the distribution of intelligence, if we actually accept that, um, should be irrelevant to the justice, to distributive justice. In other words, who earns what, who owns what, in terms of wealth and income distribution. Okay, so meritocracy was originally a critical term, but is now one of those terms that's been accepted uh, by, by many um, politicians as, as a, good, a good thing. So the, these are the key aspects of justice. That brings us really to our last one, which is social justice. And liberals um, perhaps differ from e socialists in, in their emphasis on equality of outcome, because liberals essentially place emphasis on, uh, on achieving equality of opportunity rather than necessarily equality of outcome. Okay, thank you very much. Hope that was useful.